ntazaya rikanta kaya rakaya ntazaya rishanti zaya ribayanti kaya risanta kaya rakaya ntazaya rishanti baya ribayanti kaya risanta kaya rakaya ntazaya rishanti baya ribayanta kaya risanta kaya rakaya ntakaya rishanti zaya rabayanti zaya rikanta kaya holy spirit of god we bless your name we glorify your holy name my father holy spirit of god king of glory have your way in the mighty name of jesus have your way in the mighty name of jesus have your way in the mighty name of jesus oh ribayanta kaya risanta kaya rakayanta zari shanta baya ribayanta kaya risanta kaya rikayanta zari shanti baya ribayanti zari kanta kaya rakayanta zari shanta baya rikayanti zari shanti baya ribayanta kaya risanti kaya rakayanta kaya risanta baya ribayanti zari kanta kaya rakayanta zari shanti baya Oh Rabbi Ntaziari Kantikaya have your way Holy Spirit of God have your way my father have your way Jehovah have your way in the mighty name of Jesus have your way in the mighty name of Jesus have your way Jehovah have your way my father oh Rakaya Ntaziari Bantikaya Rakaya Ntaziari Shantazaya Ribaya Ntakari Santa Kaya Rakaya Ntakari Shantibaya Ribaya Ntaziari Kantakaya Rakaya Ntaziari Shanta baya ribayanti kari santa kaya rakayanta zari shanti baya ribayanta kari santi kaya rakayanti zari shanti baya rabayanta kari santi kaya rakayanta zari shanti kaya ribayanti kari santa kaya rakayanta zari shanta baya rikayanta zari shanti zaya ribayanta kari santi kaya rikayanta kari shanta baya have your way my father have your way jehovah have your way my father have your way holy spirit of god take over my father take over jehovah take over holy spirit of god take over in the mighty name of jesus take over my father oh rika intazari shanti baya riba anta kaya risanta kaya raka anta zari shanti baya riba inta kaya risanta kaya raka anta zari shanti baya riba anti zari kanta kaya rika anta zari shanta baya rika anta Zari shanti kaya riba anta zari shanti kaya raka anta zari shanti baya have your way jehovah have your way my father have your way holy spirit of god have your way my father rika anti Rishanti baya raba anta kaya risanti kaya rika anti zari shanti baya thank you holy spirit of god thank you my father oh we bless your name jehovah we glorify your holy name my father We honor you Jehovah. We honor you King of Glory. Oh yes Lord, thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Oh intakari santi kaya. Raba intakari santi kaya. Rika antakari santi kaya. Raba antizari santi kaya. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you my Father. The Bible tells us in the book of Exodus chapter 4 from verse 5 Exodus chapter 4 from verse 5 Thank you Jesus Thank you Holy Spirit of God Oh Father we bless you Father we honor you King of glory Jehovah we honor your name Jehovah Thank you Holy Spirit of God Thank you my Father Raka intazia rishanti baya Thank you Jesus Thank you Father The Bible tells us in the book of Exodus from chapter uh, chapter 17 from verse 4. The Bible says, So Moses cried out to the Lord saying, What shall I do to these people? They they are all they are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel. Also also take with you take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river and go we all know what uh, what uh, the rod in the moses did when he separated the when he separated the uh, water for the children of israel when they were living from egypt and we can see here that uh, what uh, the lord told moses that he should take his rod with him This happened when uh, the, the children of Israel were complaining that there was no water. 
And when Moses went to the Lord and cried out to God, he told him that you should take your rod in your hand. You should take your rod. What does this mean? What does this mean? The rod, the rod is what we have. When you go to cry out to God, we have that thing that he used before, that he used before to work miracles in us. And today, what is that thing that we have that the Lord is telling us that we should go with it before him, before the people? We are on our journey of 40 days of fasting and prayer. We have that in our hands and we have prayer we have prayer in our hands. As we go before the Lord, crying out just like Moses, repenting over the, against the evil altars, the Lord is telling us to carry our rod in our hands, to carry our prayers in our hands. As we are repenting, we are going before the Lord with prayers. We are going before the Lord with prayers. And we pray that every evil altar, every evil altar that our forefathers got into, that is causing accusations against us. The Lord is telling us to, for the people with that rod in our hands. We are going with the prayer. We have that prayer in our hands. We have that prayer in our hands. So let's just go before the Lord as he told Moses. We are going before him with prayer in our hands. And if you read verse 6 of the same chapter, chapter 17, verse 6 says, Behold, I will stand before you. Behold, I will stand before you, GTCM. Behold, I will stand before you, Nyaga. Behold, I will stand before you. Behold means it is a promise. It is a promise. God is promising us that he is standing before us. As we go before him with that prayer that we have in our hands, in this journey of fasting and praying, in this journey of fasting and praying, we are going before him with that prayer. And he is promising us in verse, verse, six, verse 6 of the same chapter that behold, I will stand before you. He is promising us that he is standing before us. There, it, 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 it continues and says, behold, I will stand before you. There on the rock in Herob. There on the rock in our families. There on the rock in your family. They are on the rock in my family. They are on the rock in that evil altar in my family. And you shall strike the rock and water will come out of it that the people may drink that the people may drink and Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you Father. I want us to go before the Lord. I want us to go before the Lord. We have seen that we have that prayer in our hands. The Lord has done marvelous things with the prayers before. He has done marvelous things with the prayers before. These evil altars, they are, not, they are nothing to him. They are nothing to him. We entered in these evil altars without our knowledge. Without our knowledge. As I was praying, I remembered one thing, that one of the evil altars, for me, I come from the tribe of Kikuyu. And uh, when we, have, uh, when we had uh, these uh, gatherings, we used to slaughter these uh, goats, and, uh, goats and lambs. We used to slaughter them. And they used to roast them, and we will eat. These things, before we roast them, they used to speak things. They used to drink alcohol, moratina. They used to drink them when they were slaughtering them. But for us, for us, we didn't have that knowledge. We didn't have that knowledge. But we were just eating them. But now we are privileged. We are privileged. We have that knowledge. The Bible tells us that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Now we have that knowledge. 
we have that knowledge that time we didn't have that knowledge but now i want us to go before the lord and pray repent and tell the lord that time we didn't have that knowledge but now we are coming before you with prayer in our hands with prayer in our hands in this journey of fasting and prayer and we are crying to you for repentance forgive us for we entered in these altars without our knowledge we entered in these evil altars without our knowledge you might be wondering maybe you are married or you are in a relationship but in your marriage every time you are every time your wife is angry with you your husband is angry with you you are in a relationship but it cannot pass for after say for 6 months after 6 months you are already that person that the lord has brought to your life after 6 months something happens something happens and that relationship is over you might be thinking that it is you or it is her, but maybe it's not her. It's that covenant, that evil altar that was built, that meat you ate 10 years ago, that thing you drank 10 years ago without your knowledge. Your ancestors, they had these things with them, your forefathers. And right now, since you have that knowledge, I want us to cancel it to repent and to call the blood of Jesus to call the blood of Jesus that he may forgive us he may forgive us he may have mercy upon us he may have mercy upon us open your mouths and pray go before the Lord and cry out for mercy repent over those evil altars that you entered without your knowledge right now you are privileged to have that knowledge you are privileged to have that knowledge. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, my Father. Holy Spirit of God, Jehovah. We come before you, my Father, thanking you, King of Glory, for the knowledge that you have given us, my Father. Holy Spirit of God, King of Glory, we cry out for mercy, my Father. We cry out for mercy, King of Glory. Forgive us, my Father, for the evil altars, my Father, that we entered, King of Glory. Without our knowledge, my Father, forgive us, Holy Spirit of God. My Father, my Lord, King of Glory, may your mercy reign in the mighty name of Jesus. May your mercy reign in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rakayanti Zari Banta Kai, Rakayanta Kai Shanti Zari, Ribayanti Kai Santa Kai, Rakayanta Kai Shanta Kai. My Father, my Lord, King of Glory, we cry out for mercy, Jehovah. We cry out for mercy, my Father. Forgive us, Holy Spirit of God. Forgive us, my Father. Holy Spirit of God, King of Glory. The evil altars that we entered, my Father, without our knowledge, King of Glory, we come before you, my Father, with prayer in our hands, Holy Spirit of God, crying out to you, my Father, that you may forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us, Holy Spirit of God. Forgive us, my Father. May your mercy reign in the mighty name of Jesus. May your mercy reign Holy Spirit of God, my Father, my Lord, King of Glory, this night, my Father, we cry out for your mercy, Jehovah. We cry out for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. We cry out for your mercy, Holy Spirit of God. May you forgive us, my Father. Forgive us, Holy Spirit of God. Oh, Ribayanti Kari Santa Kaya, Rakayanta Kari Shanti Baya, Ribayanti Zari Kanta Kaya, Rakayanta Kari Shanti Zari, Ribayanta Kari Santi Kaya. Rika yanti zari shanta baya Raba yanta kari santi kaya Rika yanta ziari shanti kaya Have mercy Jehovah Have mercy Holy Spirit of God Have mercy my Father Have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Oh riba yanti kari santi kaya Rika yanti kari shanti zari Raba yanta kari santi kaya Rika yanti kari shanta zari Raba yanti kari santi kaya Have mercy Jehovah Have mercy my Father 
Have mercy, Holy Spirit of God. May your mercy reign in the mighty name of Jesus. May your mercy reign, Holy Spirit of God. May your mercy reign in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, Kira Bosita Rabosita Raba. Thank you, my Lord and our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm asking myself, what is an altar? What is an altar? What is an altar? And if you read through the book of the Bible, if you read through the Bible, and if we know, if we look at, if you search for your, uh, at yourself and if you search in your family, the people around you, you will get to know, to understand what is an altar. You might be thinking that an altar is where you go to give your offering. No. That's a physical altar. That's a physical altar. An altar is a place of exchange. It's a place of exchange. It is a place where many destinies are killed. It's a place where many destinies are killed. Many destinies are exchanged. And as we repent over those evil altars, we have few examples of evil altars. We have shrines. And let me start by giving you an example of an altar of which all, all of us we know the altar in our churches you go give your offering because you want to receive blessings another example that I will give you it's a shrine people go to the shrine because of witchcraft a shrine is an altar and the witchcraft is things that people go to search in those shrines. Another example is a bar. A bar, a nightclub. Or those people in Dubai, we, for, for, for all, those of us who have been here for so long, there are things we call Mama Pima, Michangani. Yes. Those are also altars. You go there, an altar is a place that you go to service it so that you can receive something. When you go to that bar, to that nightclub, you're removing your five dirhams, ten dirhams, to buy that alcohol, to buy that drink. You are very happy, you are hyper. It is an altar you are building. It is an altar you are building. And as we have said, it may be because you didn't have that knowledge before. You didn't have that knowledge before. You might be thinking, why am I an alcoholic? My sister is an alcoholic. My brother is an alcoholic. But you are servicing altars that you don't know. When you go there, you buy that alcohol for 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. 
you are hyper you are happy you are smiling to everyone smiling to everyone but you don't know you will wake up the next day with hangover you don't even have money to buy food for yourself you have created an altar for yourself another thing i'll use an example of the land that we are in it's a brothel a brothel a brothel is an altar of prostitution and our sisters our sisters they are getting lost in these brothels not only our sisters even our brothers we all know about Benten Ma. we all know these are things that you have entered without your knowledge you're going to this your You get money, you are happy, you are wearing nice shoes, you are using iPhone 15. iPhone 16 if it's not, it has not come. You are happy, but you don't know what you're going inside to. You don't know what you're going inside to. I don't blame anyone because it might be an evil altar that you entered without your knowledge. Without your knowledge. Without you knowing, you ate that thing 10 years ago, 5 years ago you drank that thing without you knowing. But today, today, we are privileged. We are privileged to have that knowledge. We are privileged to have that knowledge. I know and I believe that none of us here, none of us here, is doing these things that we have said but you know of one person two people three people your brother your cousin your friend your neighbor who is doing these things and as we are repenting as we are repenting i want us to repent on their behalf i don't know about you guys but as for me i'm not happy I feel so sad when I see someone drunk in the streets. This our sister standing in the streets selling themselves. I'm so mm, these things hurt. Holy Spirit of God. And it can only happen. We have seen in the book of Exodus chapter 17. We have prayer in our hands. We have prayer in our hands. It can only happen if we repent on their behalf. These are evil altars that their parents got into without knowing. Their grandparents, their great grandparents. But when they died, it continued with them. You might be born in 2000, but this is an altar that was made in 1970s, 1980s. You don't know, you don't have that knowledge. Most of us, we were in that place. We were in that place. And in that time, we didn't have that knowledge. We didn't have that knowledge. Just open your mouths and repent on their behalf. Repent on their behalf. These evil altars, repent on their behalf. Call upon the blood of Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, my Father. My Father, my Lord, King of glory. We are seeing the things that are happening. Our sisters, our brothers, our nieces, our nephews, our friends, our neighbors, King of Glory. We are seeing the things that they are getting into my father. Most of them, my father, it's because my father, they didn't have that knowledge. They don't have that knowledge, my father. And this time, mighty King of Glory, we are coming before you, my father, as a church, Holy 
Holy Spirit of God as a church king of glory crying out my father for mercy for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus my father my lord king of glory we are repenting on their behalf Holy Spirit of God we are repenting on their behalf my father and we cry out to you my father we cry out to you my father that king of glory Holy Spirit of God you may forgive them in the mighty name of Jesus my father my lord king of glory we call out the blood of Jesus we call out the blood of Jesus may it cleanse each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus those people surrounding us my father may your blood cleanse us in the mighty name of Jesus oh riba inta kari santa kari rakayanta zari shanti bhaya riba inta kari santa kari rakayanta zari shanti zaya riba inta kari shanti kari rakayanti zari shanti bhaya riba anti kari santa kari rika inta ziari shanti kari rakayanta zari shanti bhaya my father my lord king of glory we repent on their behalf my father we repent on their behalf holy spirit of god we repent on their behalf in the mighty name of jesus oh rabbi anti kari santi kari rika inta kari shanti zaya riba anti kari santi kari rika inta kari shanti zaya rabbi anta kari santa kari rika inta kari shanta zaya raka yanta zari shanti bhaya have mercy jehovah have mercy holy spirit of god have mercy my father have mercy holy spirit of god oh rabbi anti zari shanti kari rika yanti kari santi kari raka yanta zari shanti zaya riba yanti kari santa kari raka yanti kari shanti zaya have mercy jehovah have mercy holy spirit of god have mercy in the mighty name of jesus have mercy in the mighty name of jesus have mercy my father have mercy jehovah have mercy my father holy spirit of god king of glory it's only you my father it's only you holy spirit of god only you jehovah only you my father only you king of glory only you my father only you can do it for us jehovah only you can do it for them in the mighty name of jesus my father my lord king of glory you saved us my father you removed us from that pit jehovah and right now holy spirit of god we cry out on their behalf my father we cry out on behalf of our brothers Jehovah. We cry out on behalf of our sisters, my father. We cry out on behalf of our nephews, King of Glory. We cry out on behalf of our nieces, Jehovah. We cry out on behalf of our families, my father. Holy Spirit of God, King of Glory. If you did it for them, my father. If you did it for us, Holy Spirit of God. You can do it for them in the mighty name of Jesus. You can do it for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Riba Antikari Santa Kaya. My Father, my Lord, King of glory. Do it for them, Jehovah. Do it for them, my Father. Do it for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Do it for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, riba inta kari santa kaya. Raka yanta kari shanti baya. Riba inta kari santi kaya. Raka yanti zari shanta baya. My Father, my Lord, King of glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you my father. Thank you King of Glory. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you my father. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. Before I hand over to my brother, let's read from the book of Exodus, chapter 17, from verse 14. Exodus 
Exodus 17 from verse 14. And the Bible says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this for a memorial in the book, of, uh, of the of a memorial in the book and recount in the hearing of Joshua that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from from under heaven and Moses built an altar and called its name the Lord is my banner the Lord is my banner for he said because the Lord has sworn the Lord will have will have war with, for, with Amalek for generation to generation. We have repented of our evil altars. We have repented of our evil altars. And as the Lord said to Moses, write this for a memorial. In these 40 days of fasting and prayer, let it be a memorial that the Lord will blot out that the Lord will blot out any evil thing that has been happening in our families without our knowledge may he blot out and this as we are fasting and praying we read that we have just as Moses had that rod in his hand when the people, when the children of Israel were complaining this day we have prayer in our hands. We have salvation in our hands. And we are trusting the Lord that these evil altars, they are destroyed. They are destroyed. And as we are on this journey, we are building a new altar. We are building a new the altar of Jesus Christ, the altar of our Lord of Lords, the altar of Jehovah, the altar of Elohim. He who saved the children of Israel, he can save us. He can save us as well. He can save Nyaka. He can save the family of Ishane. He can save GTCM. And as we are on this journey, I don't know about you, but I believe, I believe that our family will never be the same again. Our family will never be the same again. Each of you here, each of you here, when you said yes to God, that day you went in front of that altar and confessed that Jesus Christ is the Lord. You were given an assignment. Each of you are given an assignment and you have to fulfill that assignment and one of that assignment you cannot tell me that each and everyone in your family is perfect, no no the Lord chose you to stand in that family the Lord chose me to stand in my family and not only your family we have said, not only your family when you go outside here you will see the things that are happening when you enter your apartment, you will see the things that are happening. Even in our workplaces, we see the things that are happening, the words they say in front of us. <laughs> the Lord has chosen us. The Lord has chosen us. It's not our time to be lazy. It's not our time to be lazy, to sit there and just see these things happening. No. Mm -mm. For me, I refuse. I don't know about you, but for me, I refuse. It's not my time for me to see people outside drunk, talking bad things, my sister standing in the streets. No, uh-uh. Mm -mm. The Lord who called me, the Lord who saved me, he can do it for them as well. Oh, yes. He can do it for them as well. Mm -hmm. They don't have that knowledge, and that's why they are doing these things. But for me, Lewis Nyaga Gishane, I have that knowledge. And it's not my time to sleep. It's not my time to be lazy. No. I 
have prayer in my hands. I have the word of God. And I can cry out to my father, the one who saved me. Mm -mm. He can do it for them as well. He can do it for them as well. God bless you all. Welcome, brother John. Thank you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, we thank God and we glorify his holy name. For this far he has made us to come. As our brother was uh, speaking here, I was downloading and uh, I could see that how much selfish we have been. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you, you yourself, you are born again and you see other people are not born again and you don't care in the streets. You just point your fingers to them and you say, you see our sisters, how they are making us to be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Maybe they are from your nationality. You look at them and you look at yourself and you say, now look at this now. Praise the Lord. What have you done about it? Hallelujah. Have you gone before the Lord and asked him, Lord, have mercy upon my sisters. Have mercy upon our brothers. I want us to go before the Lord and repent. For the time that we have watched and we did not do any action. Praise the Lord. That is a sin by itself. Hallelujah. The Bible says that if the trumpet, if, if, if the whistleblower, or if the gate man, or if the watchman see when the thieves are coming and he does not blow the whistle, he'll be, he'll be accountable of what will happen in that community or in that family or in that village. We are the gatekeepers. Praise the Lord. What have we done? Hallelujah. What have you done when you see these people who are not born again? This has reminded me sometimes back in my country. I was walking and uh, just doing my business. And then I see a man. He was very drunk and he could not lift up himself. Then he fell on a sewage trench. I could not hold back my tears. I, just, I started to ask around if there is somebody who knows their home. I will pay the motorbike, we take him home. Because I was imagining, now he is there. What if he die there and I'm there? Praise the Lord. What will be of me when I appear in the seat of judgment? You watched my people dying, what did you do? Praise the Lord. That's why I say you have to repent. And this man, I was told, you see, just the next house, this is his home. And then I was like, my God. By the time I'm contemplating on what to do, he jumped out of that uh, trench, praise the Lord, and he sat down. I was told now, where he has sat down, that is their house. Oh my goodness. I started asking, is there anyone who is of the family members around? No one talked, but as I was going around, I just have an engagement with some people, and I was told that these are his people here. You see, even your people around you, they have nothing to do. Before I used to, to ask myself, I could see some people get born again today. Tomorrow they are drunk and I could be angry with them. But with time I came to realize, you see there is altars that is fighting with them. You think that this person wants to remain drunkard. It is not so. Praise the Lord. There is an altar that is fighting their life and today, I want us to repent for the time that we have watched people perish and we did not take it in prayer before God in Jesus' mighty name. Let us repent for our negligence in Jesus' mighty name. Go before the Lord and tell God, Lord, I repent for any time. I did not take any action, my God. I did not come to repent for my brothers and my sisters, dear Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Oria zeke talima shandarabu my God and my Father, we have been put on a way scale and we have been found wanting, my God. May you have mercy upon us, dear Lord. Oria Zeke Talima Shandara Bose Makataya. Any time to hover God, I did not put any action, my God, to save my brothers and to save my sisters, dear Lord. May you have mercy upon me, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Oria Zeke Talima Shanda, have mercy upon upon us dear Lord. I repent Jehovah God. Any time Jehovah God that I was in a possession dear Lord 
to pray for my brothers and my sisters. Uh, but I just watch them, dear Lord, perish. Um, I repent, my God. Uh, may you have mercy upon us, Jehovah God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, have mercy upon us, dear Lord. Uh, my God and my Father, we have neglected our work, my Father. Have mercy upon us, dear Lord. Have mercy upon us, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Riazeketa Lima Shandu. Makatala Bose Liba Zeketa Lima Shanda. Anytime you come before the Lord, don't come with an attitude that you, for you you are holy and others are sinners. Come to yourself and see yourself. What have I not done to stop what is happening? The Bible says that I was looking for one man who would stand in the gap that I may, that I may stop my love. That the love of God will not be poured. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you give us that scripture? I did not plan for it, but it came automatic. I don't know what to do. Praise the Lord. Let us just lead it quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Imagine one man can save a community in your village. Sometimes I used to, to read this scripture and I wonder, one man, can I save a whole nation of Kenya? Praise the Lord. Can I, hold the, can I save the whole continent? Do you know if you, you play, the Bible says that the fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. That means if you start with sincerity and play, the Lord will hear your prayer. The Lord will avert the judgment. Hallelujah. Can we go? We start from verse number 28 so that we can understand the context. Praise the Lord. Can we read one to go? Her prophet plastered them with untempered matter, seeing false visions and divining lies for them. Say, thus says the Lord, where the Lord has not spoken. Continue. The people of the Lord have used oppressions, committed robbery, and mistreated the poor and the needy, and they are long free oppressed the stranger. Praise the Lord. I sought for a man among them who would stand, who make a wall, and stand in the gap before me and on behalf of the land, that I should not destroy it. But I found no one. Praise the Lord. That's where we lie now. Praise the Lord. When the Lord love was rekindled because of the sin of our community, because of the sin of our father's house, and you are just there sleeping, you are just there watching, I'm just there saying that our God is God of full of mercy, but I'm doing nothing. There is no action that I'm doing. The Lord says that I found no one. Do you see what they were doing? The prophets, they were giving false visions. They say the Lord has spoken when he has not spoken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The poor and the needy were oppressed. That means if there was food for the needy, it was taken by them and they did not allocate it where it is supposed to be allocated. Praise the Lord. Yeah? You see? The stranger has been oppressed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are in this land. We are strangers. I remember when the bishop was here, he was saying that we can sing a song of our Lord Jesus Christ in a strange land. He mentioned the strange things one by one. Praise the Lord. Imagine you are here. There is a lot of oppression in the land. There is a lot of oppression. Praise the Lord. But what have you done about it? Are we still complaining and saying, Lord, this land is not my land. You, you just let it go. No. What happened in our forefathers? Maybe some people were coming in your house. They used to work there and they were oppressed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They could work there. Your people are eating food and they are walking 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers. They never ate anything because they are just paid handouts. Praise the Lord. There are so many things that can have caused curses in our families, in our, in our community, in our villages. And that's why we need to pray. Because when somebody is so much oppressed, is so much obsessed by money, that becomes an altar. And people start worshipping money. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Haven't you seen even a young man in the village 
when he go home anaitwa baba kwa sababu yako na pesa and they start disrespect disrespecting the elderly people praise the lord ukienda nyumbani unasikia unaanza kuitwa bazu na wewe unafurahia praise the lord and you are happy about it because what they are worshiping is what can come out of your pocket praise the lord not because even you are too much wise the people who have the wisdom they are silenced praise the lord because of the altars of uh, because of the altars of finances the altars of money praise the lord i want us to read one scripture here so that we pray hallelujah revelation 2 13 through 14 in jesus mighty name hallelujah i know your works can we read it together in one accord one to go I know you are wax and where you dwell where Satan's throne is just hold on praise the lord can you imagine I know you are wax and where you dwell where Satan's throne is this one when I read oh my goodness I was asking myself could we be dwelling with Satan <laughs> and we don't know maybe he is among us and we don't know praise the lord but not in GTCM He must go away. Hallelujah. And he hold fast to my name and did not deny my faith even the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr. Praise the Lord. There is somewhere I saw a, a building called Antipas. I never knew the meaning of the Antipas and I was like does it mean that we should not pass here in my interpretation? But later I found this word. I saw it in the Bible. I came to know the uh, Antipas was a martyr and I was asking maybe the one who built this house he died I don't know praise the lord but Antipas was my faithful martyr who walked killed among you where Satan dwells can you imagine that means Satan can hide we can be we can be uh, trusting in God but where we are There was evil altars that were made and Satan dwells there and we don't know. We have the faith of God in our families but we don't know who they worship before. We don't know the kind of God they worship before. Praise the Lord. I want us to go before the Lord and tell God we are here to repent by pa pa adventure there is any altar in my father's house that was serviced by idols that was an evil foundation in my family in my bloodline i come to repent in jesus mighty name you could be innocent like this here it is telling us but you don't know what happened hallelujah praise the lord you don't know what they sacrificed there but you are there in that family innocently and you are suffering i don't know why i am suffering it could be there is an altar of darkness in my father's house let us repent and tell god every satanic altar in my blood right now i come to repent in jesus mighty name oria zeke talima shanda the bible is telling us we have not denied the faith of god but where we are satan is there father I repent my, my God every altar in my blood right my God every altar in my father's house where Satan dwelt my God and no one to be the God to repent I come with a heart of repentance my father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I repent for my father's house dear Lord I pray for the throne dear Lord that throne that will come Satan in my blood right my God I come to you with a heart of repentance my God God my in the mighty name of Jesus Christ my God my King my power of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I come as King of kings and Lord of lords may you come my Lord and my King 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 may you come my Lord and my Family, my God and you my King, let him be brought down in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We come by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pulling down every stronghold and every altar of darkness in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pulling down every stronghold and every altar of darkness in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pulling down every stronghold and every altar of darkness in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pulling down every stronghold and every altar of darkness in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pulling down every stronghold and every altar of darkness in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Praise the Lord. Amen. The best thing with our God, he has given us a lemony. The blood of Jesus, uh, it is the blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we go to Psalms 29? The voice of God is powerful. Praise the Lord. And there is voice in the blood of Jesus. I was reading this scripture and I saw, I was, uh, let us read up to verse 4. The Lord will help us. Let us just, just, just continue. Let us read in one accord. A psalm of David, give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Just hold on, don't be in a hurry. Go back. O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Glory and strength. Today I was feeling so weak. And I, 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 and I was asking my God, Lord, I have been praying, increase my strength. Increase my strength. I almost slept during prayer. Praise Jesus. But the Holy Spirit came and touched me. I got extraordinary energy. Praise the Lord. The Bible is telling us we give glory and strength. Give everything that you have to Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go to the next verse. Give unto the Lord the glory due to His name. Hallelujah. How many times have you taken the glory? Praise the Lord. Those, these are the hidden sins that we don't know. Sometimes somebody will tell you you are smart and you say, thank you. I got employed. Praise the Lord. I got a new job. Hallelujah. I got promotion. We got bonus. You don't know? Praise the Lord. And you take the glory instead of saying it is by the grace of God. Hallelujah. That just came by the way. I didn't plan to say that. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. You see that word holiness? It is the key word there. In the, in the kingdom of God, the throne of God, you cannot come there without holiness. And that's why we have been repenting, praise the Lord, that we may be acceptable before him. Let us go ahead. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory and thunders. The Lord is over many waters. Just hold on. The voice of the Lord is over there. If the if God wants to destroy the earth, just a breath, and the water will misbehave. The water will turn upside down, and it will carry everybody. Praise the Lord. Sometimes when I watch those videos of frats, and you see how, you see, we admire big cars, you admire big houses, the way they are swept by the water. And you say, surely our God is so powerful. If water can sweep these things like this, the way you can throw this water like this, they sweep everything. A building like this is overturned. Praise the Lord. Because of the voice of God. Let us continue. I have just a few minutes here. The voice, let us read together. The voice, voice of the, the Lord, Lord is, is powerful. powerful. The, voice the voice of the, the Lord, Lord is full of majesty. majesty. That means the voice that is coming out of the blood of Jesus Christ. As we are going to call upon the blood, it they will utterly destroy the altars of darkness in Jesus' name. In our Father's house, no stone will be left unturned. It is now or never. Praise the Lord. It is the time for us to cry for our family. It is the time to be angry, as my brother was saying. Hallelujah. And you say, I am tired to see my people. Their marriages never stand in my family. My people never get married in my family. It is time to say enough is enough. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have to effect the word of God. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. That is power and majesty. Hallelujah. Continue my brother. Leah Ziki Talima Shanda. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes. The Lord sprinters the cedars of Lebanon. Can you imagine just the voice of the Lord when he speaks, when he lowers, the trees start trembling and falling down. Hallelujah. What about those altars that have been stubborn, that have been fortified in our families by the voice of the blood of Jesus? They will be crumbled. They will be overturned in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Continue, my brother. If you don't believe it, it's better you believe it. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. He makes them also skip like a calf, Lebanon, Lebanon and Syrian, like, like a young wild ox. Continue. 
the voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. Praise Jesus. Every altar of fire that our names have been dancing there, our names going to jump out from there in Jesus' name. Our names will no longer be mentioned in the altars of darkness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because of the voice of God, there is fire that is coming down. Hallelujah. Continue. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. Can you imagine in the wilderness when the Lord has spoken every demon that was stubborn in your family, that sickness that was because of the principalities of darkness uh, that was sponsored through idol worship. Uh, when the Lord has spoken, uh, it will be shaken. Uh, the foundations will be overturned in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Give us the last scripture that is Colossians 2.14 in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want us to call upon the blood of Jesus. The, the voice in the blood will do what you have seen here. The foundation is going to be broken. The Bible is telling us you shall utterly destroy the altars. Praise the Lord. You shall utterly destroy every altar of darkness in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Can we read this scripture together? Sorry for that. Having wiped out the handwriting of, of requirements, requirements that, that was, was against, against us, which, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it, it to the on cross. the cross. Just hold on before we go to the next verse. He has wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us. That means in those altars of darkness, in those uh, thrones of darkness, when they are worshipping those idols, when that idol worship has been fortified, there is something they write down. And they say this family, this sickness will continue up to a thousand generations. They write it. But today we come by the power of the blood of Jesus. Whatever they load, that altar of poverty, that throne that has been sponsoring poverty in my family, today it is going to be overthrown. Hallelujah. The voice of the Lord through the blood of Jesus will overturn and it will come by fire in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That means if it, if it was written, none of you will become a career person in your family. Today, that principality, because of idol worship uh, that has made a pattern in your generation, uh, we are bringing them down today in Jesus' mighty name. Uh. Let us go to the next verse so that we can play in Jesus' mighty name. Uh. Having disarmed principalities um, and powers, um, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it. Uh. That means Jesus overcame and because he overcame we shall also overcome in Jesus mighty name. I want her to superimpose the power of the blood of Jesus. Let the voice in the blood of Jesus speak for us now. Let every altar be destroyed tonight in Jesus mighty name. Let every altar that have been speaking against your marriage that have been speaking against your progress that have been speaking against my spiritual life that there is no one who will rise in your family who will worship the Lord God Almighty, let those altars uh, be broken down in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, let the voice of the blood of Jesus prevail. Uh, every hard lighting of the enemy, let them be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Or Yazeke Talima Shanda, every evil foundation, uh, every evil foundation, uh, every evil foundation, uh, every evil foundation, uh, we come by the blood of Jesus. Uh, every principalities of darkness uh, in our Father's house. Uh, Today, we speak the voice of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you today. Oria zeke talima shando. Makata la bose li bazoko yando. Li katala borye li bashanda. By the blood of Jesus, we declare today, let every principality, let every fortified altar of darkness, let them be overturned. Let them be broken down by the power of the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oria zeke talima Whatever they 
mashando ria zeke tala bosa la mazoko yanda rika tala bosa li mazoko yando rika tala bosa li mazoko yando we speak the voice of the blood of jesus we declare every hard writing that they be broken out by the blood of jesus that every hard writing of the enemy be broken out by the blood of jesus christ oria zeke tala boria makata la bosa li mazoko tali mashando ria zeke tala bosa la mazoko yando leke bakante le bosa la mazoko yando ria zeke tala bosa li mashando ria zoko yando robo zaya thank you jesus thank you holy spirit of god oria zeke tali mashando robo samakataya hallelujah you better be angry and declare that by the blood of jesus every hard writing whatever they load against my family whatever it was load, it was litten in those altars of darkness today it is being wiped out by the power of the blood of jesus hallelujah god bless you as we begin praying in tongues praying in tongues as we move to the book of ezekiel rapa sato kratari bas kente karia rapos katarabas kante kerimaya prakasato katarabosha kante kaya zadaya pekos katarabas tete kataya mekes kapaya rapos kante kerimaya prakasa kante karia rapatas kapaya rapos kapai meke pratare rakatos tete ribabasa kante karia rados sato kataya rapadas kante kai meke prat kaya meke prataria rapada sa kante kerebo sheto kataliba sa kante kaya mako prataliba sete ribaba sa kante karia maka sete karia rados kapaya meko prataliba sa kante kaya meke skapatia raba sato kaya rakato kapaya ba sa kante kaya meke prataliba sa kante kaya meke skapatia raba sa kante kerima raka sato kaya meke sate karia ba sa kante karia ma meko prataliba sa kante kaya Makasete karia rakados kapaya pekese kente karia makasate kaya rados sete krataya rapatas kapai meke prataliba sa kante kaya meke skapai meke skapai rapadas sa kante karia rapadas sa kante kaya bas kente karia rakados kapati rabos kente kaya meko prataliba sete krataya rapadas sa kente karia bas sa kante kaya meko prataya rapadas seto krataya rakabos sa kante kaya meke pratai meke pratari bas kante karya mah meko seto pratari bas kante karya meko sate kaya sate kaya prigede se kente kaya bas kante karya ba seto pratara bos kante karya maka sate karya bas kante kari bas seto pratari mah meko pratari bas kante kaya meke sete karya ba seto pratai meke sa kante karya ba zadaya prigede se kente karya bas kante karya rapata kapati raba sa kante kaya meke sete ratae Barurista baba se kete kari baba se tokata ya meko prata ya baba sa kante kai meko prata ya rapa sa te kari baba sa kante kai meke prata ya rapa sa tokata ya rapa da se kente kari baba sa kante kari baba meko prata ya meko prata ya rapa to sa kante kari baba se kente kai meko sa pati rapa sa kante kai meke to sa pati baba sa kante kai meke prata baba se tokata ya rima manda do sa pati rapa baba se kente kai meko prata me copra taia rabada sete katari masa kante kaya me copra tari bas sete katara basa kante kaya me cos sete katai ma me copra taia me copra taia rakato ka pa bas kente kaya me kes ka pa bas kante kaya me copra tari bas kante kaya rapato ka pa ya preke sete kaya rabasa kante kaya me copra taia me copra taia rabada sa kante kaya bas kante kaya ma ka sato ka pa bas kante kaya me Me copra tari bas sete kataya rabada sa kante kariya bo me copra taya ribe bes ka paya bas sa kante kariya rakata sa paya prekosh ka paya me copra taya me copra taya rapado se kente kariya if you can close your eyes I want you to focus I want you to focus get into the tuning of the Holy Spirit if 
can close your eyes, not focusing on your neighbor, but focus on the Lord to bring you back to the place of prayer. Rapasate kaya, rakaposa kante kai, mike pratari masa kante kaya, rapase tokrataya, makashate kai, makashate kai. Brigadeze kente kari basa kante kaya, mako prataya rapasa kante kaya, rabasa to kai, mike prataya, mike prataya, sakato prataya, prekose kente kari, radasa kante kaya basa kante kari, rimamasa kante kari basa kante kari, rapasa to kai, rapasa to kai, prekese kachaman, mako prataya basa kante kaya, mako prataya basa kante kaya, mike sete kari ribaya, mako prataya rapasa to kataya, rakosa kante kaya mekes kapaya prekose kente kaya meko prataya rapatos kapaya prekesa kante kaya rabasa kante kaya vase to kataya meko prataya meko prataya ratos kapaya vase kante kaya rabasa te kaya rabasa te kaya prekes kapaya meko pratari vase kante kaya ratos kapaya vase kante kaya meko prataya meko prataya ratos kante kaya rabasa kante kere meko pratari vase te kataya rimaya prekos Sataya, Rimaya precoce Sataya, Rapa sacate caia, Meque sacate caia, Rado sato cataia, Rabada sacate caia, Meque capatia raba seto cataia, Meco pretariba sacante caia, Sacante caia, Meque tos capai, Meco pretariba sacante caia, Meco pretaia rabada capaia, Meco sato cataia, Rimaba sacante caia, Meco pretaia raba sacante caia, Meco sate caia, Sate caia, Preganese, Kente caia, Rapata capai, Meque. Prataya, Rabasa Kante Kaya, Meke Prataya, Meke Prataya, Ratosa Kante Kaya, Mekoska Pachavasa Kante Kaya, Oh Raboska Payavasa Kante Kaya, Rapataska Paya Prekesa Kente Kaya, Meke Sato Kataya, Rivabasa Kante Kaya, Mekeshka Pachavas, Seto Kataya, Rataska Pachavasa Kante Kaya, Meko Prataya, Meko Prataya, Ratoska Pachavaha, Meke Seto Kataya Basa Kante Kaya, Maka Sate Kaya, Prekesa Kente Kaya. Me copre taribasa cante caria, ma cassetaia, ma cassetaia, rababasa cante caia, me copre taribasa, seto cataia, ma cassato caia, precosca pachabasa, setaia, rimabasa cante caria, ma capra taia, rapasa caia, rapasa caia, precos santo caia, rimabosa cante caia, me copre taia, rabanasa cante carimaia, me cresca pachabasa, seto cataia, racatosca pachabasa, me copre taia, me copre taia, radosa pachabasa cante caia, radosa. Sete Kataya, Ramadasa Kante Kaya, Meke Pratari Masa Kante Kaya, Rapasa Paya, Rapasa Paya, Meke Se Kente Kaya, Ragadosa Kante Kaya, Rapadosa Paya, Preke Sete Kaya, Riba Masa Kante Kaya, Rapasato Karabasa Kante Kaya, Meke Pratari Rapasate Kaya, Rakadosa Paya, Preke Sete Kaya, Meke Masa Kante Kaya, Meke Kapati Rabosa Kante Kaya, Mako Ma copra taia, ma copra taia, sa cante a dos, sa cante ca, me copra tariba, sete copra taia, rapatas copaia, me copra taia, me copra taia, ascenda, ascenda, na sempre costa paia, rato, sete copra taia, rato, sa cante caia, me copra tariba, sete copra taia, rado, sa cante caia, ma casate cai, ma casate cai, perché sca pacia, rado, sa cante caia, ma me copra taia, ma casate copra taia, riba ba, sa cante caia, me copra taia, ma sa cante cai. Ora paia scappati a rabassa, cante caria, rabaia precosca paia, me che prataia, me che prataia, me che prataia rabassa, cante caia. Oh my Lord and my King, oh Holy Spirit, you are welcome, you are welcome. We move to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 6, Ezekiel chapter 6, Ezekiel chapter 6. Let us say something here before we ascend once again. Ezekiel chapter 6, from verse 4. Ezekiel 6, from verse 4. It continues to say, then, oh my God, then your altar shall be desolate. Put it in Amplify, please. Please. 
and your altar will become desolate and your pillars of sun worship will be mashed into pieces and I will throw down your slain and in front of your idols that cannot bring them back to life. Five continues to say <clears throat> I will also lay the dead bodies of the children of Israel in front of their Canaanite idols and I will scatter your bones all around your altars. Six Everywhere you live the cities will become waste and the high places will become desert so that your altars may bear their guilt and become deserted. Your altars may be broken and destroyed. Your incense altars, the sun worshiper, may be cut down and your works may be blotted out. Everywhere you live, the cities will become what? Waste and high. We've been living in an era whereby, oh Lord, you find your... Our forefathers think that it is because of them praying it rains. It is because of them praying such and such a thing happened. You cannot proceed because someone did what decided to tap their feet and told you, you, and did not continue speaking and left the idols of our father's house. What they have been believing, what they have been told by those whom they went to consult is what they are using to fight us. When, 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 when Nyaga was talking about altars and idols that are in the land, the Lord brought me to two things which are affecting people over we in the 21st century. Come on. We don't just carry any bag. We don't just wear any suit. If it is not Hugo Boss, don't wear. If that shoe is not Louis Vuitton, please stop. We stopped wearing... Uh, <laughs> I don't know the name of that shoe in English. I don't know the name of that shoe in English, but back where I come from, it looks like Adidas. My friend, you can wear it for five years and the sole is still like this. It does not go away. And it was expensive. You put it on, people say, mm, this one is from a rich house. You have that jeans that, that you buy it, everyone be like, wow. Oh. This one, the father is working. Me, my father is not working. We need to go to buy in uh, the second hand. But this one, they've gone to the shop direct. Idols that have been put in the land by the fathers without our knowledge, without our understanding. But what does the Bible say? They will all be brought down, down, down. Where you live, the city will become waste and the high place will become desert. You can become an idol. Do you know you can become you can become an idol, or your parents can become an idol to you? When you have that problem, the first person you call, daddy, daddy, daddy. When mama needs money, oh, they praise you like nobody business. When they know salary is here, that is when your phone does not stop ringing. Why? You become an idol to your father, to your mother, or vice versa. You know, Pastor Amos is going to Kenya. You tell her, Papa, please prepare for me. I want blue band. But you have it. No, I want blue band. If it does not come from Papa, it is. No, that is not blue band. Papa has to send me something. It has to come from his hand. Enter the plane to come and reach me. You've turned your father to become an idol. Or your father has turned you to become an idol. May we pray this night. May we pray and ask the Lord, where we live, let the city become waste and the high place become a desert. Such that if tomorrow you don't have, your father will not feel bad. If you go to Kenya and you come back with an empty suitcase, you'll not say, my father does not love me. Turning your parents to become an idol is dangerous. It's dangerous. You may be thinking that they are the supply while they are not. If it is not for God, if it is not for God, I have seen a situation whereby my father has planted and when it comes to time for harvesting, everything you open has weevils inside, weevils inside, weevils inside, all eaten and he did even pest control. Weevils inside and I asked the Lord, why? Why is the name of my father becoming like this? 
And the Lord taught me one thing. You've become to, you've brought yourself to the understanding that uh, if you do not take from your father's house and go with it, your father does not love you. So I want to teach you a lesson. He will not get and you will not get until you come back to rely on me. You come back to rely on me. <laughs> the Bible tells us that uh, the guilt and <clears throat> bear their guilt and become deserted. Your idols may be broken and destroyed. <clears throat> your incense altar for sun worship may be cut down and your works may be blotted out. Everything that you do, ask the Lord, is it right? Is it right? Don't wait to help Pastor Eddie when Pastor Amos said, please guys, our pastor needs help. That is when, my friend, you've never given him 10 dirham, but you are writing in the page, here goes your 50 dirham. Don't wait until you've become an, an idol to someone. Don't wait. And don't turn someone to become an idol. You may be putting someone in a problem which they do not even want to, the way we have been put by our fathers. May we pray and ask the Lord, but adventure... <coughs> But adventure, there is any moment that we've turned ourselves uh, to become idols to our fathers uh, or we've allowed our fathers to become idols to us. Uh, may the Lord have mercy upon us uh, in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, if we have been thinking that is because of the wealth uh, that our fathers have acquired, uh, because of the areas where our fathers uh, may have bought land, that is why we are living a marvelous life. Everyone is struggling now to buy a piece of land in Kileleshua while you, your father, acquired it long ago, long ago you're looking for that white man to tell him my friend, uh, 75 million and the guy tells you, check cash this is what you're waiting for, with your father sweat it has become an idol you don't know how your father got that land and you, you want to ride on it as if you were entitled, ask the Lord am I entitled to have this piece of land that thing that you're relying on uh, from your father can do what uh, can make the ground to cry for vengeance the shedding of innocent blood that tomorrow someone will wake up and you're wondering why, why, why we are fighting every year, we are fighting concerning this land. Someone died because of this land that you're fighting for. Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you glory. We want to give you praise in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. King of all glory, Lord of lords. We've come this night to deal with altars. We've come this night, my father, to deal with idols, my God and my king. But adventure, we've turned ourselves, my Lord, to become idols, my Lord, worshipped by our parents. Or we've turned our parents to become idols that we worship them, my God and my king, by what they give us, king of all glory, or by what we give them, my God and my king. We are asking in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, let you your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy, my God, be upon us uh, in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I pray, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, uh, any moment, any moment uh, that have been part and parcel uh, of idol worship, my God and my King, I plead the blood, I plead my God and my King, uh, let mercy, my Lord, uh, be rendered upon me in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, but adventure, there is anywhere, uh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, uh, where I have worshipped uh, my Father's house, my Lord and my King, uh, but I've become a member of the idol worship that has been taking place in my father's house knowingly or unknowingly my God and my king I plead for mercy in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ I ask you king of kings and lord of lords may your mercy my lord locate me this night in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ oh lord my God anytime my God and my king where I have become a part and parcel of idol worship of my father's house king of all glory I plead for mercy I plead for mercy in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ I plead for mercy, my God and my King, in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I ask, oh Lord, my God, let the land, my Father, be brought down. Let the land be left desolate, my God and my King. Let the fruit of the land not be produced, my God and my King. And till we land, my God and my Father, to look up unto you in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, my God and my King, come, my Father, come, my Lord, help us, my Lord, to rely and to depend on you in the mighty name of 
from our Lord Jesus Christ. Any moment, King of all glory, where we have worshipped the idols of the land, of where we come from, King of kings and Lord of lords, we are asking, my Father, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, my God and my King. This night, my Lord and my King, we are asking in Jesus' name, but adventure, my Lord and my Father, we have service the altars of our fathers, we have service in the altars of our fathers, my Lord and my King. I pray in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, let your mercy prevail, let your mercy prevail, let your mercy prevail in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, but adventure, my God and my King, we have stood, oh Lord, my God, to support the altars of our fathers, to be risen, my God and my King. I pray in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, let your mercy be upon us in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I cry out unto you, my Lord and my King, for I know your word has said that you're a father of second chances and of compassion, my God and my King. Have mercy upon us, King of kings and Lord of lords. Let every high thing, my Lord, that we may have exalted, knowingly or unknowingly, every high thing, my Lord, that our fathers may have exalted, knowingly or unknowingly, my God and my King, be brought down this night in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, my God and my King, by your blood, by your blood, by your blood, my God and my King, let every altar be brought down, let every idol worship, my Lord, that has taken place in my Father's house, my God and my King, be silenced in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, my God and my King, let the land, my God and my King, be filled with bones, my Lord and my King, to show us the faith, the faith, the faith of the idol worshiper in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Let the land, my God and my King, be filled with filth to show us the the that the discus of idol worship my god and my father in the mighty name of my lord jesus christ come oh lord my god and let your mercy reign let your mercy reign in the mighty name of my lord jesus christ i pray king of kings and lord of lords may we not be my father those standing in support of idol worship and knowingly my god and my king may we not stand my god and my king to be sponsors of idol worship my god and my father but let your mercy prevail in the mighty name of my lord jesus christ let your mercy prevent my God and my King upon us in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we thank you, Lord. And we give you glory and honor, King of Kings. We thank you, my Lord. And we magnify you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We're going to move to the book of Judges. Judges chapter 6. Judges chapter 6 from verse 25. Judges chapter 6. Judges 6, 25. It says, now on that same night, the Lord said to Gideon, take your father's bull, the second bull, seven years old, <clears throat> and tear down the altars of Baal that belong to your father. The Lord did not give him a sacrifice. The Lord told him, take from your father's house. Take your father's property. That which he calls his is what I want you to take. And cut down the Asherah that is beside it. 26. And build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this mountain stronghold with stone laid down. There is a version that says in order yeah, here in an orderly way. Then take the second bull and offer a burnt sacrifice uh, using the wood of the Asherah which you shall cut down. Twenty seven. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants and did just as the Lord had told him. My brother, my sister, before we go far. He took how many men? Ten men. Meaning that uh, there were people who were given the vision but could not talk. Why? Because of their position. They have been told there is idol worship going on here. But they could not talk because they were servants. But the Lord spoke to Gideon. Why ten? Why couldn't he take one? Why couldn't he take one? Have you asked yourself, why couldn't Pastor Moses say, guys, I am doing the prayer and fasting on behalf of all of you. So, guys, sit back, relax, and watch me take this journey. Why? Because of the power of corporate prayer. I may not know how to deal with something that is happening in my family, but my brother may be having a solution. My sister may be having a solution. Now, that is why he took 10 men when he grows weary, when Moses' hands were growing weak. <laughs> there were men beside him to do what? To continue lifting. And when the hands were lifted, there was victory. There was victory. 
It continues to say, but because he was too afraid of his father's household, relatives, relatives, specified relatives. He was too afraid of the relatives. Have you not fought with your relatives? Have you not been going through a battle because one of your cousins, one of your nephews does not want to see you excel? So they go to that, that man that has no clothes. He's only putting on a red, a red thing around his waist and tell him, listen, I want wealth more than this, my cousin. And they take your picture and say, this one to be precise. And they tell him, okay, put this picture inside this calabash. He was afraid. Why? Because they were all into what? Idol worship. But he was segregated. He was consecrated and given an assignment. Has it not happened to you? Where did we begin? Personal repentance and consecration. Right? Then we've come to the second part whereby we are pulling down altars of bar that are in our father's house. Is it not where we are right now? Are you tired of seeing a cycle that is happening around the family? Here come, here go. Here come, here go. You begin building something and bitterness and jealousy enters into the village. Anything that you had begun, someone just decides to bring it down. You've not done anything to this person wrong. But it is a cycle. You bought a piece of land, it becomes a fight. Why are you buying for yourself and you cannot buy for us? And you're all adults, all working. Difference is you're working in Dubai, he's working in Kenya. The same millionaire in Kenya can be the same millionaire in Dubai, depending on how you carry yourself. Relatives are people who fight us. And if you, where you come from, you've not been fought by relatives. Oh, you're very lucky and blessed. Mm. Continue to tell us. Uh, and the men of the city doing it during day, daylight he did he did it at night 28 early the next morning when the men of the city got up they discovered that the altars of Baal was torn down and the Asherah which was beside it was cut down and the second bull was offered on the altar which had been built early the next morning we contend in the night when you wake up in the morning they find there is a shift. There is a change. The atmosphere is not the same. If they were used to going to a certain spot to do their charms, they realize, mm, today this spot, there is something different which is not working. There is something different here. They start fighting with everyone in the house. What have you done? Children have been kicked and beaten right and center. See if it is the children who have done it. But the Lord has spoken unto you. Pull down their shares. Take your father's bull and offer a sacrifice. If you know it is in that land, the Lord has shown you it is in that land, in that tree, where the umbilical cord of all the children in this family was buried. Deal with it there and then. You say, Lord, I am dealing with this land that my father bought with his money, with his money, with his money or inherited from his father. And I am declaring today, all my brothers and sisters whose umbilical cord have been buried here, let them be removed and let the blood of the lamb cancel whatever was spoken to into this land. By the blood. The man was scared. The man was scared. This is a tactic of the enemy. To do what? To throw fear so that you stop. When he knows you are in the brink of your breakthrough, he brings the spirit of fear. But we have to contend. We have to contend. We have to contend. We have to contend. You know yourself better than I know you. The best I can do is I can stand and say, I stand with Oscar. Any altar that was built in the land where his father comes from, I stand with the agreement and with the access that has been given to Oscar by the Holy Spirit to pull down every stronghold that is standing in that place in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord to give you the boldness and the courage to pull down every stronghold, to pull down every altar 
pillars of Baal that have been raised in your land in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, my God and my Father, by the blood of the Lamb, King of all glory, I pray, King of all glory, give us the spirit of courage and of boldness, the spirit of courage and of boldness, my God and my King, to pull down every altar that was built in our Father's land in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, King of kings and Lord of lords, the courage and the boldness, the courage and the boldness, my God and my King, to destroy every altar, to destroy every sacrifice that was offered in the land, my God and my King, to stand against us in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my God, let your blood, let your blood, let your blood, my God and my King. Mm, cancel and nullify my God and my King every sacrifice, every altar, every throne that was erected in my Father's land in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I come, my God and my King, standing in agreement with my brother, with my sisters, my Lord and my King, whom you've also envisioned concerning this, my God and my King. And I pray in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, let them be brought down, let them be brought down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, my Lord and my Father, you are the Lord. Lord, my defender, you are the Lord, my defender, you are the Lord, my defender, my God and my King, as I stand, oh Lord, my Father, uprooting and destroying all these altars, King of all glory, my God, my Father, shield me, oh Lord, cover me, my God, protect me, my Lord, from every fiery data of the enemy, the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I come, my God and my King, with the better sacrifice of the blood of the Lamb, in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, uprooting and destroying, uprooting and destroying, uprooting and destroying my God and my King, uprooting and destroying my God and my Father, every ball, every altar, my Lord, that has been raised in my Father's house, in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, that is standing against me, that is standing against my brothers, that is standing against my sisters, that is standing against the entire family, my God and my King, I come, my Lord, by the power of the blood, by the power of the blood, my God and my King, destroying, destroying, destroying every altar, every altar, every throne, my God and my King that is standing against us in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I come by the power of the blood of my progress. Oh my God, destroying every altar that is standing against us in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my God, set it on fire, 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 set it on fire in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I command my God and my King by your blood, by your blood, by your blood, my God and my King. Let it be set on fire in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever he has been getting in strength from my Lord and my King, let it strength my Lord be wear out in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever my Lord he has been getting in strength from my God and my King, let it strength my Lord run dry in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, my God and my Father, give us boldness, my Lord. Give us courage, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. To pull down and to destroy in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. To pull down and to destroy my God and my Father in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, by your blood, by your blood, by your blood in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Every bar, every altar, every throne, my Lord and my King that was erected in my Father's house, my Lord that was erected in the family, my God and my King. We pull down by the blood. 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 Let the blood speak on our behalf. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, my Lord, in agreement to my Father, which in a with each and every person in this room, my Lord and my King, whatever altar was raised, my Lord, against Pastor Amos, whatever altar was raised against Mr. Joy, whatever altar, my Lord and my King, was raised against the Gishanis, whatever altar, my Lord, that was raised against the Kimachuis, whatever altar, my Lord, raised against the Musaos, whatever altar that was raised against Oscar, whatever altar was raised, my Lord, against Regina, whatever altar was raised against Oliver, whatever altar, my Lord, was raised against Cato, my Lord and my King, whatever altar, my Lord and my King, was raised against Nendo, whatever altar, my Lord and my King, was raised against Mini, whatever altar, my Lord and my King, was raised against Nere, whatever altar, my Lord and my King, that was raised against Oscar, whatever altar, my Lord and my King, that was raised against Gloria, whatever altar, my God and my King, that was raised against Victor, my Lord and my King, 
whatever Atta, my Lord and my King, that was raised against Emily, whatever Atta, my Lord and my King, no, my Lord, my Father, that was raised, my Lord, against Mama Blessing, whatever Atta, my Lord and my King, that was raised against Douglas, whatever Atta, my Lord and my King, that was raised against Carissa, and the Atta raised against Eunice, my God and my Father, that command in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, let them be brought down, let them be brought down, let them be brought down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, we come, my Lord, by the power of the blood, by the power of the blood, my God and my Father, declaring in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, anyone that is online, my God and my Father, that an answer was raised against them, my God and my Father, let the blood of the Lamb begin to challenge and to bring down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we give you glory, my God. We give you praise, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, because my Lord and my King, you say whatever we ask in your name, we shall receive. Whatever we ask in his name, he has said we shall receive. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. One last prayer point. One last prayer point before we close. If you don't, you can allow me, please. One last prayer point before we close in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. From the book of Second Kings chapter 3. Second Kings chapter 3, verse 27. The last chapter. The last verse, sorry. Second Kings chapter 3 and verse 27. Mm. Oh Lord, they will retaliate, I am telling you. Do not sit back and think that all will be a bed of roses. They will retaliate. Then the king of Moab took the, his eldest son who was to reign in his place and offered him publicly as a burnt offering to Chemosh, to Chemosh on the city wall, horrifying everyone horrifying everyone and there was a great wrath against israel and israel's allies judah and edom withdrew from king Jehu <clears throat> and returned to their own land they will retaliate i am telling you retaliation you might experience it these men they knew they have victory because they'll be the lord but what did this man do he offered a sacrifice Nyaga was saying, you can turn anywhere to become an altar. Where there was in the battlefield, he said, my friend, no, these people cannot win. Young man, I am sorry, you are supposed to take over, but you have to become the sacrifice. Right now, you may be challenging every altar. You may be challenging every throne that is in your father's house. But those men whom they go to, or those women, they like, my friend, please, I think the tenancy of your altar is almost gone. It's almost gone. We need your last one. We need your last one. We need your last one. You want this, uh, <laughs> this altar to continue? You want to continue having money? You want to continue ruling every single person around this village? You need to pay. You need to pay. But if we stand in agreement and say, whatever they plot against my brother, whatever they plot against my sisters, even if they decide to offer their own in place of us not giving our own. What I call a crowd, this is what we say in Swahili Gloria. That means uh, let it come, let it be a loss to them, not to us. Let it be a loss to them and not to us as the children of God. May we rise up and pray and say, as we contend, uh, God any throne against any altar that yes, is in our father's house there shall not be the retaliation innocent blood shall not be shed in the name of servicing our father's altars or thrones in the mighty name of my lord jesus christ we come my god and my father by the blood of the lamb declaring my god and my king no more no more no more shedding of innocent blood no more shedding of innocent blood no more my god and my king no more my father bad reports will come from our families in the mighty name of my lord jesus christ Christ, we declare no more, no more, no more bad reports, no more sicknesses, no more loss, no more financial struggles because the enemy is killing our finances in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. We declare, my God and my King, by your blood, by your blood, by your blood, my God and my Father, we stand to become victorious. We emerge, my Lord, with a mark of excellence, flying high, flying high, declaring in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, we are secured under the blood. We are secured. 
secured under, under the blood. We are secured under the blood of the Lamb. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, we declare King of Kings and Lord of Lords. None, none of our family members shall be offered as sacrifices. None of our family members shall be taken before the time that the Lord has appointed. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, as we have pulled down every altar, every throne that is happening in our Father's house, my Lord and my King, none shall be taken from our families. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, we cover them by the blood. We cover them by the blood. We cover them by the blood. We cover them by the blood of the Lamb. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, we declare, my God and my King, none my God shall be offered as a sacrifice. None my God shall be taken out. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, let the blood of the Lamb become their security. Let the blood of the Lamb become their covering. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, as they teleport, as they look for a sacrifice, they shall not be able to see any of our family members. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, oh Lord my God, oh Lord my God, in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, oh Father, we thank you. Oh, we give you glory and we give you honor, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Lord is taking me back to the book of Joshua. I am sorry as I finish. Back to the book of Joshua, chapter 6. Joshua, chapter 6. This is when Joshua was told, March, March, March around the wall of Jericho. March around the wall of Jericho. March, March around the wall of Jericho. When the people who were inside were saying, mm, they cannot be able to make it. Why? They put their faith in the wall. They put their faith in the wall thinking that because the wall is erected up high, they cannot be able to bring it down. They cannot fight us and win because of what? Of the wall. But I tell you, my brother, when the wall came down, none of the people of Joshua's side died. The wall has two options. Either it will fall to the right or to the left. But this one capsized down. Went down allowing them uh, to enter into that place whereby these people are thinking uh, they cannot be able to access us because we have fortified a wall that will protect us. Mm, we pray every wall that they think that they have built, uh, every wall they think that they have built, uh, that we cannot be able to pull down their altars uh, and their thrones. Let them be brought down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, every wall that they have built, uh, thinking that we cannot access them, uh, let them be brought down by the blood, by the blood, uh, by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, uh, let every wall be brought down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Let every wall be brought down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Let your place my wall. God and my King, that they think they've secured themselves, my Lord and my King. Let the blood of the Lamb that penetrates even to the bone marrow, my Lord and my King, penetrate into their secret place, penetrate into their hiding place, my Lord and my King, and bring them down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blood of the Lamb penetrate into their hiding places and bring them down in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. In those forests, in those wilderness, in those places that they're hiding, in the seas, over the ear, my God. God and my King, I command in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, let the blood of the Lamb penetrate and root them out in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blood of the Lamb penetrate into their hiding places and root them out in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blood of the Lamb penetrate and bring down their walls, bring down their walls in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, by the blood, by the blood. In the mighty name of oh my Lord and our God, Kirobozira Variana Masakata, oh Maricandes Covariada, every demonic strategy that the enemy have laid so that he may put away the all indignation that we may pull back and we may fear against fighting and destroying the altars today we declare they shall not succeed in jesus mighty name and eh? we have led in the first king where we have led the king offered his firstborn so that he may push back the children of israel i pray in the name of jesus this was a demonic strategy to put fear to the children of israel that they may stop fighting but we declare and we decree we are fighting from the victory side oh our firstborn have already died and we cannot be stopped by them in the mighty name of jesus christ we will 
will overturn them with the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare and we decree every demonic strategy set to retaliate and to push us back from our prayer. We declare it will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. None among our family member will die. None among us will lose his job. None among us will lose his health. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lakabadidaba. Rekabadudaba. Kamandoria balada. Rekabazodabara. They will not succeed this time. This is our season. This is our time. We will rule and will reign. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not withdraw. Open up your mouth and declare. I am not withdrawing from this battle we have started. I will not withdraw. 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 The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hey, is backing me up. The blood of Jesus is backing me up. The warring angels. They are backing me up. The fire of God is backing me up. I will not withdraw. My father's altar. They must scatter. They must come down. My mother's altar. They must scatter. They must come down. None among our family member will die premature death again. None among our marriages will break again. I declare. I declare. I declare. We are not turning back. We are not turning back. Others othering sicknesses. Others othering death. Today we declare you will scatter. You will scatter. You will scatter. Hey! Pura pesare akapa. Kindele borianama. Sere borianama. Tell your neighbor I am not withdrawing. I am not withdrawing. Despite what will happen, I will not withdraw. I must finish. My battle must end. And I will win. Because I am more than a conqueror. All altars, they will know the altar of my God. Yes. As it was with the time of Gideon. They knew that the altar of Jehovah God is the altar that can defend itself. I know as I raise the altar of my Jehovah, it will defend itself. The father of Gideon said, let the God defend themselves. I know my God can defend himself. Hey, in the book of 1 King 18, our God answered and he defended himself. Not because Elijah was Arashias and man that was mighty. But there is somewhere where the jealousy of God can be provoked. That he may stand and defend himself. Ah! How many times they want me died. How many times? But we don't die. Every time they say we die, we resurrect again. And so we have many lives. If they think they took my father, I would die. No. They think they took my mother who died? No. They think they took my, my brother to my father? No, no. Exempt me. You better be, be... No. Exempt me in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you because you are here. No one else like you, Lord. I ask you by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Touch each and every one, Lord. Specifically them that you have anointed and you have Jehovah Lord, my Father, ordained today is their day. That Jehovah Lord, my Father, a new level, a new energy will come unto them. A new power, a new dimension. Let Jehovah Lord, their lung now be fortified, be elevated as they fight. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit of God fall down in this place now. Let them fall, my Lord. Let the fire of Lord my God, start making us to be the frame of fire, frame of fire, frame of fire, frame of fire, frame of fire. May you be a frame of fire as you continue praying in this prayer and scattering the altars of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be invisible in the eyes of the kingdom of darkness in Jesus' mighty name. So I pray the Lord you see us through the name of Jesus Christ. Father, remember the sacrifice. They have offered themselves as a sacrifice to come here. By the virtue they are here, let the sacrifice be counted. 
As long as they have entered in that door, they appear upon the altar of God. Let the sacrifice be counted in their warring, my Lord, and in their fight in the name of Jesus. That this sacrifice will speak on their behalf in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray whatever they were contending with, let there be more power, Lord, to pull down the strongholds in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for coming. God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Come on time and we'll be able to finish on time. Amen. Yes. God bless you and we bless the name of the Lord our God. May the Lord protect our father, Pastor Moses, wherever he is in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord protect Pastor Susan and the children, wherever they are in Jesus' mighty name. And may the Lord keep them safe and bring them safe in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May the Lord keep our pastors wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And may the Lord defend the families of our pastors and our children in Jesus' mighty name. Let the Lord defend each and everyone that is called under our name GTCM. And I pray everyone that is connected with the name GTCM as an altar will be able to overlook my Father to bring down those strongholds that were in our families for many and many years. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Yes. Can I go offline?